Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Jamie, and this is our From the Pasture with Hired Hand podcast. As the owners of Hired Hand website software, we've been developing websites and creating internet marketing strategies for livestock breeders for the past 10 years. The majority of our customers are involved in the breeding of registered animals, such as Texas Longhorns, Highland Cattle, Horses, and White-tailed Deer, where the pedigrees are very important. The From the Pasture with Hired Hand podcast examines many of the differences in raising pedigreed livestock for maximum profit. Join us and learn what we're covering today. On today's podcast, we're recapping the Glendening Fiesta sales that happened this past weekend, May 3rd and 4th in Salina, Texas. Uh, Jamie, before we uh, got started here, you and I were catching up a little bit about uh, what you thought of the weekend, Uh, but we decided that we should start this podcast off a little bit differently. Uh, We got a lot of uh, text messages um, when we asked for feedback about the sale, and so we're going to start by by reading some of those. Well, the first one is pretty straight to the point, and they said it's the best damn event that I've ever attended. The next comment was set in by Brian Brett. And Brian says, well done, so fun, terrific, generous hosts, attention to every detail. Tessa and her crew did a great job prepping the pens, running the cows through. Pen setup and sale pen were outstanding. Great service by the employees. Both nights were A+. Best Longhorn event ever and hard to top that. Very thankful. Our next comment was, the Red Macomb sale has long been my favorite sale. The Glen Dennings went above and beyond when taking over the Fiesta sale. I had such a great time. The facilities, amenities, food, and consignments made it an event which all others will be judged. I can't wait for next year. The next comment reads, We attended Rex and Cherise Glen Dennings' first annual Fiesta sale. What a wild success. Literally down to the last detail. Red was honored. Cattle brought great prices and fun was had by all. These events are a ton of work and they definitely put their sponsors' money to work wonderfully. Aiton and Sandy, your dedication to the success of this showed all weekend. We cannot say a big enough thank you. Another one says, what a wonderful event. The setting was amazing. Enjoyed the band. First class all the way. This next comment was set in by John and Lauren Clark of Buffalo Gap Longhorns. They said, thank you so much to Sharice and Rex Glendenning for a fabulous sale. Having the cows undercover made it so nice for the cows and for us to see them. The sale arena and tent was three times the size of any previous sale. Their hospitality was in a class by itself. We'll be bringing our best next year. Our next comment is Rex and Charisse really outdid themselves. Everything was first class, and they made sure everyone had a great time. The past weekend at the Glen Dennings was just what the Longhorn industry needed. Very well done. John Heaver sent us a comment that said, It was a splendid weekend. The food, drinks, facilities, and cattle were all first class. And our final comment says, Perfect in every way. Well, it sounds like it was a pretty phenomenal weekend overall, Jamie. Should we get into the numbers here? Yeah, let's do it. So this year at the Glen Denning sale, there were 102 lots listed in the sale to overall. There were 37 heifers in the sale and 65 cows in the sale. The unofficial total was 1.126 million, um, while the unofficial average was just under 12,000. The internet only average was 4,760. Individually, the heifer sale unofficial total was $386,600, while the unofficial average was $11,045. The internet-only average on Hired Hand Live for the heifer sale was $9,666. The cow sales unofficial total was $739,800, while the unofficial average was $12,538. The internet-only average was $2,657. With this being the eighth sale of 2024 to be included in our Hired Hand Live Trends and Averages series, it takes the annual average to date to $5,536 and the internet-only average to date to $4,308. There were 29,679 total views of consignments online with 10,293 views of the heifer sale lots, 19,386 views on the cow sale lots, and there were 131 registered internet bidders. 
The most viewed heifer lot before and after the sale was lot H35, PCC Foxy's Gold Mine, consigned by M7 Longhorns. She had 752 views before the sale and ended with 939 views after. The most, most viewed cow before and after the sale was lot 26, Hicks L. Sunshine, consigned by DCT Cattle. She had 1,073 views before the sale and ended with 1,206 views after. Now we're going to go over the top five in-person sellers and buyers for the Friday night heifer sale. Do you want to kick us off with number five, Jamie? Yep. Number five was lot H196CR High Rose, consigned by CR Longhorns, who sold for 23000 to the Whitlock Vanderford Partnership. The fourth highest selling heifer lot overall to an in person buyer was lot H15 HL High Regards, consigned by Hudson Longhorns, and she sold for $25,000 to Mike and Holly Davis. Coming in at number three was lot H35 PCC Foxy's Gold Mine who was consigned by M7 Longhorns and sold for $35,000 to Savannah Smith. The second highest selling heifer overall for, to an in-person buyer was lot H30, DH Miss Texoma, consigned by Rock and H Longhorns, and she sold for $50,000 to Bill and Elizabeth Hudson. And coming in at number one, the highest seller overall for the heifers was lot H33, HH 100 Roses, who was consigned by HH Cattle Company, she sold for $65,000 to Richard and Jeannie Phillip. Now we'll review the top three online sellers and buyers for the heifer sale. The third highest seller online for the heifers was lot H29, Cinnamon Spice, consigned by the Murray Fox Partnership, who sold for $8,500 to Catherine Hawk. Number two was lot 22, HL Redeemed, consigned by Hudson Longhorns, who sold for $9,500 to Randy Murray. And the highest selling heifer online over the weekend was lot S1. It was a Rio Vixen ECR by 3S Touchdown Tari Heifer, uh, consigned by LM Ranch, and she sold for $11,000 to Felix Cerna on Hired Hand Live. Next, let's go over the top five in-person sellers and buyers for the cow sale. You want to get us started with number five? Sure. The fifth highest selling lot for the cow sale was lot 26, Hicks L. Sunshine, consigned by DCT Cattle, and she sold for $30,000 to Mike and Holly Davis. Number four was Lot 7, Rex's 83 Birthday Girl, consigned by Whitlock Gibbons Partnership. She sold for $32,000 to Kent and Sandy Harrell. And the third highest selling cow lot overall was Lot number 11, Iron On, consigned by Diamond B. Longhorns, selling for $55,000 to Rob Barrigo. Number two, selling in person, was lot 43, Tuck Schmirk, consigned by Diamond B. Longhorns, who sold for 60000 to Rex and Sharice Glendenning. And topping out the cow sale for the highest uh, in-person buyer was lot number 30, TCC Danny, consigned by LM Ranch, who sold for $110,000 to the Floyd Clark Gibbons Whitlock Partnership. Now we'll go over the top five online sellers and buyers for the cow sale. The fifth highest was lot number six, M. Arrow Kelly's Mischief, consigned by Jordan Ranch, selling for $1,750 to Jim Wingate on Hired Hand Live. And number fourth place was lot nine, Lena Platinum BCB, who was consigned by Bull and Longhorns, who sold for $2,500 to Jim Wingate. The third highest selling cow lot over Hired Hand Live was lot number 61, HL Double Your Luck, consigned by Wagner Cattle Company, selling for $3,000 to Josh Brinken. The second highest selling online lot was lot 32, BCR Dialed Up 938, who was consigned by Bull Creek Longhorns. She sold for $3,750 to Jim Wingate. And tapping out the cow sale for uh, Hired Hand Live buyers was lot number five, Ozzy's Dorothy Gale, consigned by Brazos Rose Ranch, selling for $4,500 to Randy Murray on Hired Hand Live. So we'd like to thank everyone who tuned into the sale, bid, or bought on Hired Hand Live this past weekend. So now we'll go over a few of the internet influence stats. There was a $47,600 value added through internet bidding with $29,000 from the heifer sale and $18,600 from the cow sale. There were 500 
and 11 online bids with 10 lots selling online with three from the heifer sale and seven from the cow sale to seven different online buyers. Well, that wraps up our recap of the Glendenning Fiesta sale. Uh, The next sale that we'll be recapping is the Flint Hills Mother's Day sale on May 11th in El Dorado, Kansas.